You have probably heard by now there's a pretty potent hurricane out in the Pacific that is impacting the Hawaiian Islands today. This is Hurricane Douglas, maximum sustained winds at 85 miles an hour, and it is going to track just over or north of the island of Oahu, just north of Honolulu later on tonight. So there's a pretty good surge going on there, storm surge, and a lot of wind and rain overnight tonight into tomorrow. Still be kicking up the waters right on through the next 24 hours. Meanwhile, what's left of Hannah which is virtually falling apart here is now a tropical depression moving into Mexico and out of the way from Texas. Closer to home, we have a few storms down in the Hampton Roads area. Otherwise, things are pretty quiet tonight and will continue to be that way. But it's really hot out there. 94 downtown, but 97 in Sandston, 96 in Mechanicsville, even 97 over in Short Pump as well. Officially at the airport, we are 97 after tipping the scales at 99 this afternoon. The dew point has been a little bit lower, right around 60 degrees through the afternoon because of a westerly wind that tends to be a dry wind that enables the temperature temperature to go a little bit higher though uh, because if you have a little bit more moisture it tends to keep that temperature down just a bit overnight tonight the humidity is going to start to increase our temperatures only drop into the low and mid 70s on average maybe a few isolated readings here north and west in the upper 60s tomorrow we do it again highs in the upper 90s and with more humidity the heat index is going to be higher and that's why there's a heat advisory in effect to our southeast from the Williamsburg area all the way down into Hampton Roads. We've got two more really sizzling hot days in the upper 90s maybe even touching 100 in a few places. The heat index again is going to be higher tomorrow and Tuesday and then gradually the heat will ease. We may have a day up or below 90 degrees coming up on Friday. So here's the setup tonight. Any storms across extreme south side will fizzle very quickly. We'll wake up to mainly clear skies in the morning. Just a real hot, humid day tomorrow. Maybe a storm popping in the mountains to the west, but I think our chances once again are very low tomorrow. Rain chances will pick up a little bit on Tuesday because it'll be a front to the northwest of us and that We'll bring a few scattered storms late in the day into the evening. And once again on Wednesday, we'll kind of repeat this pattern a little bit through the end of the week. Now, Douglas is not the only thing going on. We're still watching the Atlantic. Gonzalo has fizzled out. Hannah is about to fizzle out, but this is an impressive tropical wave off in the central Atlantic and the computer model forecast bringing this to the west potentially as a storm eventually maybe having a threat to the US. It's still a long ways off, so plenty of time to watch this, but certainly something we're going to be keeping our eyes on as it is likely our next tropical storm developing this week. Overnight tonight, things are quiet, mainly clear, just very warm, 75 in town. The coolest areas well north and west, upper 60s to around 70. Blazing heat and increasing humidity tomorrow. High temperatures in the upper 90s. And again, that heat index in a few places, 105 or higher. We do it again on Tuesday. A couple of late day storms. Better rain chances, I think, on Wednesday. A couple of scattered storms will hang around Thursday and Friday. And still pretty hot next weekend, although more typical for the end of July and beginning of August.